So the weight gain happened when we were in fourth grade. You know the culture that says, "Wag kang maarte finish your food, dami dami bata na gugutom," and then you're overfed. But then when you gain weight, your family is quick to say, "Na ang laki laki mo na, paano ka magkakaroon ng boyfriend niya?" It's so confusing. When I was a kid, I was a kid. But when I transferred to an all-girls school in high school. It was just a culture in an all-girls school to compare. You're in an environment where you hear people talk about their weight and how hard they're working on their diet for prom, and in some way compete to who dieted the most. <laughs> like, oh, I only had a banana today. Oh, well, I only had sky flakes. When your classmates are treated better because of their physique. You don't even have to learn body hate. Eh. It's just your environment signaling you that oh, there's something wrong with me. You know, you make big thighs. And then when you get to high school, you realize all the guys who like you have thinner thighs than you. You know, there's this thing where you don't date guys shorter than you. You don't date guys thinner than you. That even that is damaging to boys. Ah, eh? a damning repeat rules. What men and women have to look like. And what they look like together. You know, we're fed a lot of messages to say, you know, love your body. But when every other media platform is telling you otherwise, mm -hmm. you're basically working against conditioning that you've lived with. Yeah. yeah. For our company, for Hinge in particular, we don't want to subscribe to a single conventional standard of beauty. What I don't believe in is tokenism. So like when you have a magazine and you'll say, this is my plus size issue, and then for the other 12 months, 11 months of the year, they're all skinny. It should be. Part of the daily conversation. So even for a sports website, we never say work out to get this body or to get good thighs. This is the workout to improve flexibility or health or endurance. It's not about shape or size. The path of beauty isn't narrow because we've been sold that lie. It's such a beautiful thing to know the truth, and that's what we live for. My sister and I. That's what we live for to share that truth, because it would be so mean. If you're the only one holding the flashlight in a dark room and keeping it to yourself.